People say time is money, isn't it? Hmm? Mm. Have you heard this? Time is money? Okay, now tell me. What's the pay rate here? Fifty dollars per hour? Too much. <laughs> is it too much? <laughs> huh? Okay, let's say, right, this is good job, right? This is a six-figure salary job. Fifty dollars per hour. I hope so. You're spending one hour to earn fifty dollars. Agree? You're spending your valuable human life You're spending the gift that you received after yawns and yawns to earn $50. You're spending one hour out of that life to earn $50. If it is something a fair trade, then you know that customer happiness guaranteed, satisfaction guaranteed, right? So what you can do if you buy something, if you don't happy, then what you what you do? You go and get the money back. Do you do that? Right? Amazon. You order something and then you return, right? You know some people they do so bad. You know what? They use it for the, they want one per one time, right? They use it. Ah oh, no, I don't know. This is this is something wrong. I do. And then they, they return it. Don't do those things. So that, that I mean, even Amazon, you 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 would be able to return that, right? Even after you use, isn't it? That's fair trade, isn't it? Okay, can you reverse this? Can you give fifty dollars to your boss and take your one hour back? Talk to your heart. Can you get $50? Can you get one hour back after giving that $50 to your boss? Ladies and gentlemen, don't you think this is fair trade right then? This is real, isn't it? This is what you experience. But how about this? This is what we have projected. $50 note doesn't have a $50 value, ladies and gentlemen. $50 note doesn't possess a $50 value. It's a convention. I don't, I'm not saying don't go and buy things from the shopping, okay? Live. I'm not asking you to stop everything. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I am talking to your mind. I'm talking to your perspectives about the world. You can't take that this one hour back, ladies and gentlemen. The minding moments that you had, the consciousness moments that you had, you can't take them back. You know, this second, you can't kick, you can't take them back. Take that second back. You waste it. Don't you think that don't you think that is very precious? The one second that you leave. If something is if something cannot take back, that is really precious, isn't it? If something is so precious, that means it's so this one hour is invaluable in that case, isn't it? But look at the world. What people have done. They have valued this one hour to fifty dollars. There's something wrong in this life, ladies and gentlemen. This system, there's something wrong. We don't want to change the system. I want you to change, because I changed.
I'm from the Buddhist ministry. I'm not a religious person. I understood what Buddha understood. What Buddha told to this world, what Buddha has discovered to this world. I want you to realize that truth. In order to do that, you have to come along with me. Not to the rope. Later it will happen. I started this journey five years ago, 2018. Look at what happened to me. What do you think? How many things I have? I have. I own. I own nothing. I'm using only three, two ropes and one arms ball. But I'm happy. How many things that you have? Let's write down. Hmm? I'll give you 80 pages of A4 <laughs> book. Is it enough? Huh? Let's write down what you have. Let's go back to your house. Hmm? How many things you have accumulated? How, how big your house is? Is it you to live or did you make, the, did you make this house you to live? or to keep what you get from the Kmart, Bunnings, New World, Pack and Save. Ladies and gentlemen, your houses are storage, storages, storage kings. That's a company in Australia, I don't know whether they, they you have storage king here. In our monastery, the wonderland that I live, not this wonderland, in monastery that I live, we don't have separate place. We don't have even separate bread, separate separate bed. We have shared things. We don't have a personal private life. Except in the toilet. <laughs> because we live an open life. Wholeheartedly open. There's nothing to hide. Our teachers, if, if you found, if you, if you can meet them in future, I hope you will meet them. They're very open. They don't have a secretive life. That is why their, their, li their lives are sacred. Because they don't have a secret life. They don't have one thing saying and other thi something else thinking back in their mind. But I know you can't be open to anybody. Because I had this life before. We have regrets. Isn't it? Hmm? You can't open your life. If, if you open your life, then chaos will happen. Boom! <laughs> you know, the first thing I did when I met my first because in our monastery, when you enter as an Anagarika, Anagarika means to be a monk, like practicing to be a monk. That stage, we have one year of probationary period, something like that. Each and every monk has a teacher. Each and every Anagarika gentleman has a teacher. So now, when I first met my teacher, the personal teacher, personal trainer, personal teacher, individual teacher, I took six hours of his time. Six hours, ladies and gentlemen, six hours. You know what I did? I expound all my life. What I did, something bad that I did, something that I cannot, I couldn't tell to my parents, I couldn't tell to my wife. That's actually confessing, confessing, right? 
I confess in front of my teacher. Then you know what happened. The teacher knows who am I. Teacher knows how to treat. Teacher knows what to do with this life. And thank God, you know what happened. During this one hour, sorry, during this, not one hour, during this one year period of this probation period, I was able to come out of all the sufferings, all the regrets, and I was ready to become a monk. That's how all it started. I had a beautiful life like you. Is it beautiful? Sometimes, sometimes not. I had a wonderful life like you. Wonderful, uh, yes, sometimes. I had a happy life like you. Sometimes. Now I'm having a happy life all the time. The other day I was talking to my teacher and I, I told him if somebody wants to check dopamine level in our brains then it will be all time high. <laughs> There's no coming back. No serotonin at all. You know, the, you know, this is the achievement that you can achieve from your human life as a human mind. You know, you cannot do this ladies and gentlemen. Rat cannot do this. Your cat cannot do that. You ca your cat cannot understand this. We all have this human mind. I'm asking you to wake up. Because all the time what you have been doing is you're wasting your life to keep to protect a system. Let's contemplate this. I really love to contemplate about this. What you have been doing. This is the joke. Life is a joke. See? You earn, you, you work one hour and you earn $50. What you do after that? You spend one hour to spend this fifty dollar. <laughs> My goodness. Then again, to, after spending this fifty dollar, what you're doing? You're taking some stuff to your house. Then you spend one hour again using them. Let's say you bought a phone or something, right? Okay, TV, huh? not $50, let's say $150, huh? TV. Then while you are watching TV, what do they do? You know what? This pen is so good. It's writing perfectly. So I recommend this pen. So what do they do? And you know, even at night, see? If you want a torch, use this torch. This is the pram, woven. <laughs> What they do? By watching a TV. While you are watching a TV, what they do? They are providing you. They are indoctrinating you. What? Ideas. To live happily ever after. You are suffering because you don't have this torch. So if you want to be happy, what do you have to do? Buy this torch. Okay. Then you go to your boss, boss again. Again work for one hour. What? To get the torch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are you all are nourishing a system. I'm not against the government, okay? Don't think like that. I want to save you all. <laughs> Don't think in that way. <laughs> We all are nourishing a system.
a baby born to this world right when a baby born to this world mother father uncles aunts and friends what they are doing is they are giving commands and regulate not rules and regulation they are giving set of guidelines to how to behave in this system they are training you inside schools universities education institutes they are training you i can't say they you know why because when 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 i say they that is the system have you watched matrix see i told you this is look this looks like science fiction but that is real these are the agent smiths Of course you you have some needs. You need something to f- eat. You need something to wear. You need some me- you need medicine. You need a place to live. You know what I mean? These are your needs. I also have that needs. But the funny thing is I'm not taking I'm not doing anything to get these needs. Everybody protects me. Why? I'm helping everybody. I had a time that I was thinking that if I lose my job how can I fulfill these needs but I'm not doing a job right now I had a time if I didn't buy this couch if I didn't buy this wear the the shirt if I if I if I don't have a job how can I survive If I didn't pay my rent, how can I how can I sleep? <coughs> Now I'm not. I'm not doing a job. I'm not doing a, I'm not paying a single rent. Did I pay? No. This is the life that we spent very long time ago. Before people start thinking about themselves. when they try to separate things from the nature to themselves that is the story starts that is where the tragedy starts ladies and gentlemen we all are part of the nature when we start to see believe feel that we are no longer part of the nature we are separate human beings that's where the tragedy begins This is where this river of sorrow starts. The spring in the high up in the mountain. Because of the attitude we have. In our monastery we have a lot of people. We help each other. Everybody protects everybody. Helping hands one hand washes the other hand if this hand needs to wash it cannot wash by itself it needs another hand see hand knows something but we can't understand this yes you can come out of this since i came out and i'm enjoying this life you can as well i want you to open your eyes